back to Lancer Central. The fall sports are right in the middle of their conference seasons and things are heating up. I'm Sam Hovan. Women's soccer is still unbeaten with three matches to play, plus men's soccer has had a strong start to conference play. And the field hockey team is right in the mix in the MAC. Plus, the men's and women's golf teams have steadily improved throughout the fall, and the tennis teams have also performed well in their matches. Today, though, we're going to devote some time to a cool story from Longwood Cross Country. The men's and women's teams had their first home meet since 2014, but they didn't stop there. They hosted a fun run walk called the Lancer Pink Mile after the race, all with the goal of helping stamp out breast cancer. Chris Bryant has the story. Thanks, 5,280 feet, or one mile. Yet for people like Boo Van Stratton, the mile of the Lancer Pink Invitational has a special meaning. I was blessed and my cancer was caught really early. Um, I've also been blessed by having two best friends. One died 15 years ago from breast cancer. So I will always do anything I can to help bring awareness. And it's also touched other friends. Longwood Athletic Director Michelle Meadows, a survivor herself, knows the value of community support. It's just really encouraging. It makes you feel like you're not forgotten and there's other people fighting the fight with you uh, through donations and research, but also just in emotional support. The idea started when Coach Craig was talking with her team about having a home meet, and they ran with it. With the event being in October, they decided to add a fun run or walk as a fundraiser. Every single runner on the team has taken part in t-shirt design, t-shirt sales, asking for donations for the raffle, and um, just getting the word out there. This fits in with the mission of Longwood, raising citizen leaders. These are all 18, 19, 20 year olds that are, you know, making an impact on their community and this is something that they can continue to do each year and we can continue to grow. And um, also just raising awareness for uh, breast cancer, it's so important. Um, I have members on the team who they know someone who um, either survived or passed from it. So everyone's, you know, has been touched in some way. When we can be the drivers of an event like this that helps to serve our community and to serve uh, a specific need, um, I feel like uh, we're really fulfilling that mission. All in all, the run raised more than $2,000, one small success in the larger goal of ending cancer. Everyone's got a mom, a sister, uh, a best friend, a grandma, a husband, a brother that can be touched by breast cancer. So the more awareness that's out there, we can get rid of this disease one day. For Lancer Central, I'm Chris Bryant. Now we have a chance to talk with one of the team leaders about both the event and the race, Grace Paleo. Grace, thanks for taking time to talk with me today. Thank you for having me. Uh, my first question is going to be, what was it like when you finally see the fun run happen? It, you know, all your work pays off. It was great. Um, Coach had been planning this probably for about a year now. So once we got to see like everything all wrapped up, it was, it was so cool to watch everybody you know, start the race and then sit there and clap at the end. <laughs> it was really fun. What was, it ex what was the experience like when you were helping put it all together? Um, we were all just really excited for it. Uh, a team member of ours, his mom's actually a breast cancer survivor. So I think it was just really special because we all like had that, you know, like strong connection with, with what we were supporting. And we'll kind of flip it a little bit. You, you also had a home meet. Can't mm -hmm. forget that. Mm -hmm. What was it like to finally have a meet here in Farmville as opposed to somewhere in the, in the region? It was awesome. Um, so I'm a junior now, and, and they were talking about having a home meet my freshman year and then my sophomore year. And so now that we actually got to have it, it was just, it was really cool because I got to have a lot of family members come out and watch. So it was, it was fun for them to be here for it. Were you nervous before you actually started running? Um, a little more nervous, I think, because I actually had friends come out too, which, which isn't really normal because we're always, I feel like, out on the road. So it was, it was cool to have it here in town. This is going to be an interesting question because I'm always curious. I know what I think about, but w what do you think about when you run? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> kind of, I guess, a little bit of everything. Sometimes what I've eaten that day, how I'm feeling, I'm thinking about who's behind me and who might catch me. So you're, you're, you're thinking about while you're running your 5K in a race, oh, I had waffles this morning. Could be. Could <laughs> pop into my head. Literally anything. <laughs> What's coming up in the week could be anything. <laughs> What's the best part on being a part of a cross country team like this? Um, I think it's awesome that we're kind of like in a rebuild right now. So it's really cool to have our names on like the foundation of what the future team's going to look like. 
Well, thank you so much. And again, great work this weekend. The event was incredible. It's, it's awesome to see you guys raising support like this. Thank you. Thank you. That'll do it for us here on Lancer Central this time for our entire broadcast crew. We'll see you next time.